All right, here we go. Alvedo's event. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Um, I am a part of the Wings of Feasting event. So if you see me thanking folks in chat for the subs, uh, it's because of that. And that's also why we have this big stuff on the, the, the screen, just so everyone knows. So, yes. <laughs> This looks lively. We're gonna What's auto. Also, rat. If I don't know if you're Petra, on it, Heimer. but fancy meeting you all the way out here. <gasps> Amber. Amber. Howard. What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Hi, all. Long time no see. Oh, the traveler is joining us too. Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! Oh my gosh, Cyrus. <laughs> the more the merrier. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Uh, sorry, what have I walked into here? Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is doing too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter training on Dragonspine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. So, has Cyrus' voice actor been revealed yet? To pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I have been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan! Because I, I love him. You are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. Uh, Amber, what are you doing here? Is the Adventurers Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. Oh, Joel! Oh my gosh! That one quest from, from Dragonspine where, like, didn't his dad, like, die or something like that it's just uh well it was like it was like i don't know it was insinuated that he was gone that's so sad why would we talk about joel again like that made me so sad thank you so much for the gift subs but joel's father i know joel's father went missing i totally sympathize with how much joel misses his family Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. Aww. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Yeah, let me cheer you up from your, from your dad being missing and your grief by building you a snowman like okay but like that is literally some frozen two shit like i <gasps> cat thank you so much i appreciate you cat you enjoy your wings also thank you everyone else who gifted i appreciate it enjoy your wings snowman is new dad no okay since it's for joel count me in since it's for they're not gonna make us choose they're not gonna make us choose. Stop this right now. Uh. I'm gonna choose Amber. No! <laughs> you know what? Amber has lived a really good life. Amber has literally not had any family issues, I don't think, at all, out of all of the Genshin characters. So, like, I'm gonna choose Joel. Aw, really? Thank you. Let's go meet up she hasn't Joel had then. any family oh, trauma, unlike everyone else. To join too. She should be here any second. <gasps> She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Is it your girlfriend? Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Oh my god, it's definitely her girlfriend. 
Amber lost her grandpa. Wait, did she really? <clears throat> hey, Joel, we're here. Hi, Joel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. <laughs> Are you here to build a snowman, too? Oh, there she is. Build a snowman. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. Aww. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? Uh oh, <gasps> Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right, if that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa, Eula just let something go for once? <laughs> Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? She's, uh... I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Oh, she's soft yeah, for Joel. I love that. Look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's got to be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> what? Let's combine our forces. An and ice bath? A huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Okay, I approve. Yep, yep. Count Paimon in too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. <sighs> and Eula, are you too busy to join in? Oh my god. Oh, so it's okay. I understand. <gasps> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I, I'd be delighted to join you. I think I, like, lo like I really had no problem with Eula. Like, I liked her. I just really did. But, like, now I love her. Like, I just have a... <laughs> She's so soft. <laughs> She's so soft for, for him. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Oh, okay. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah. This let's is do so it. wholesome. Wow. Those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. <laughs> hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything you're acting a little out of character i'm trying to figure out what you're thinking oh i'm gonna say that um one. well <clears throat> there's no one else around you can say joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city he doesn't know me and he doesn't know what the lawrence name means to the people in mondstadt right that's why he calls you auntie eula oh careful paimon true in his eyes I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. So there's something else bothering you? <laughs> How very perceptive of you. <laughs> Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. Oh my god. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. Oh. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh, no. Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, uh. She never had a chance to, like, to do, like, like child things and build a snowman. Uh, don't worry about it. The honorary knight will help you. Yes. You sound confident. <laughs> All right, then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. 
<laughs> In that case. All right, Eula can help. Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? <laughs> pay for what? It does sound like him. That's just how Eula talks. Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Actually, maybe not. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. If Taco Bell gives your tummy a hard time, then your bloodline's weak. I'm so sorry to say. Sorry about it. Why did you give the spot to Eula? I want people to know all the good qualities she has. Eula desperately needs this kind of opportunity. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon noticed Eula smiled just now. It must have meant a lot oh. to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her. Oh. Now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Ooh, okay. Strange. She is certainly a queen, yes. No, no, well, her place is Jean to Luke replaces Mona. No. You're playing Final Fantasy XI. What about Final Fantasy XIV? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Hmm. Uh, why does Lumine look like that? That is, like, this camera angle is so extra. <laughs> I just heard a strange noise coming up from the mountain. Uh, could they be in danger? No New Year's Eve with Mona or Jean. I didn't think about this. The sound just completely stopped. For a month. Looks like we lost How it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection. Aren't they? Oh, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case... What exactly are we dealing with here? Y'all, did you see the fox behind me? That voice. <gasps> huh? Albedo! What brings you to Dragonspine? Baby! I love him so much! Oh my... So it was you. Oh, so it was Albedo all along! All along? It was Albedo oh, all that? along! On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises. And it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something <laughs> useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. Not the poop. The things you felt and hurt could easily be attributed to animals or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. Okay, so, we we are, we've been known. We are well aware. I have died many times from sheer cold. It's a long story. We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. <laughs> hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, <laughs> as is the way in which you articulate it. Wow. Hey, how dare you? All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you. That Paimon rose, oh, though. Is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Actually, it's nothing serious. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? <laughs> we were probably overthinking it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Ah, oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? Foisted the- We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! Mm. We were just being nice! I just- I feel so attacked what by Albedo! Huh? 
are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Oh. Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no. He sounded so me, excited. For the traveler. Paima wants the traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. So you want me to learn to paint now? <laughs> Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! What? Not a bad idea. Well... Since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? Why'd she go there? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. She said you can paint me. Like, what about paper? <laughs> oh, wait, does she mean... Oh, does she mean draw me? Oh, okay. I thought she meant paint on me, and I was very confused. I was like, why are we think? What? What? No, I, okay, so clearly I didn't understand. <laughs> I was really confused. Why would you want us to paint on you? Sorry, I'm sorry. I just simply just didn't understand. <laughs> what about Amber? Oh, she'll be fine. She is a nice Apavonius after <sighs> all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. All right, fine. So cold out. Haima wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Why are we screaming? Oh, because it, it's messy. What's going on? Thieves! It's gotta be! Hmm. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? It's hard to say their value, but... Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Oh boy. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? Uh, you're welcome, Carla. Salamat for choosing me as your as as your streamer of choice for the wings. I hope that you enjoy them. Thank you so much. All right, I don't think it's that simple. I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm. These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! Okay, we gotta find him. From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Our thief eh? must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We're going down. <laughs> We're going down. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me put... Wait, who's out right now? Ayaka? Uh, actually, I'm going to switch it up and put the wings on Albedo. Okay. 
Thank you, Albedo, for the marketing. Get your get your gliders out. Get your gliders ready. Yeah, I definitely will. If you want these gliders, you just gotta give two community subs and the stream, and you'll get the these gliders. Just like Albedo said, get your get your glider ready. <laughs> Here, more footprints. Welcome back, Remy. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now! <laughs> you sure can run, but you definitely can't hide! Let's go in! Is it terrible that every time that we get new story, I'm like, I hope I see Scaramouche, even though he probably has nothing to do with this. You know, I'm still like, I hope I see Scaramouche. Like, I hope he just shows up, because why not? <laughs> okay. Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler. Please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Listen, I love Scaramouche so much. Like, I just, I love him so much, and I would be happy to see him any day, at any time. Yeah, only one Scaramouche per region. That is very true. It's so sad. We're, we're moving forward. Got it. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, see you shortly. You take care too! And of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. What were we doing just standing here? Like, what exactly were we doing? <laughs> he's not, he's not been that long. Really? Been gone that long, probably. Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. <laughs> waiting is so boring. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like, um, something like, oh, look at all that stuff. Over there. Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time. Sure. Yay! Let's get started. I'm going to put it on my Some <laughs> silver shines a lot more brightly than others. <sighs> yeah. Finally, you're back. Uh, thank you for the gift subs. I appreciate it. Yes. Wait, are, am I? Sh I'm sheer colding. <laughs> My screen's all. Oh, this is so chaotic. Then why is the thief not with you? Sorry, I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh, so after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Oh, what a waste! Still, we won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining. Uh. Mining. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Mm, okay. The star silver. Look, we got quite a lot. It's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. She's really anyway, it's out the here with the painting. Fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. 
Uh... Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So, let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? <laughs> Bennett? That voice sounded very familiar. <laughs> Christina V, is that you? It's likely an adventurer in danger. Let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I think it's I think it's Bennett, probably. Oh my god, is he in a cage? Is definitely coming from around here. Not me still having a sheer cold. Is anybody there? Help me! <laughs> Why is Bennett in a cage? Bennett! No way! Is that How did you get in there? Is that the traveler in Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it. What in the world? <laughs> Just Bennett things. Just <laughs> being in a cage. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta fix my sheer cold. This is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. Bennett, what are you doing? If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree. It wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it <gasps> fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bennett in a cage? <laughs> Never saw that coming. That's so mean. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Oh my god, I love him so much. Like how just it, rocks in a tree that fe mm. We got revenge for you. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. <laughs> Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure what? team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. So you're leading rookies too? Oh! Wait, so that guy <clears throat> Gerald who got left in the lurch? He was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius? <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. <sighs> I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, Benny. Uh, don't be like that. You're great, too. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, I'm sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Didn't he come with us? Albedo? You mean, the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors, too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm, could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. The no, Altair social as well, like this the Twitter in his Where bio, so. This is great! Dragon Spine's so fun today! There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Right. We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just... didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking what? about? What? Albedo, where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you. 
I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Oh. Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... Look at these babies. First things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... There you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? What in the devil are you doing? <laughs> yes, that's what I would Yula? be doing. If I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? <laughs> uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong what the question. devil do you think you were doing? What is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. What? When you did what now? You quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh. I see. Interesting. Not Albedo saying fuck them kids. You are... It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? That is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Recounts meaning you discovered the theft of the person. Okay. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You, uh, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, Contact myself and Amber. You have my Contact the wives, yes. As far as Amber goes, I will. You will what? Eula! Eula! She didn't finish her sentence! I need to know what she'll do to Amber! Amber, <laughs> we're here. Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett. You're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents. But nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. <laughs> Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okay. Let's go to my camp. What are you gonna tell me? I'm so upset that Yula was about to say something about her and Amber. Like, why do they keep doing this? Like, just tell us they're girlfriends and get it over with so we all can live in peace. Only without reservation. But before that. Oh, they knocked over his oh, thing. What a mess! I can help tidy. Excuse me? No, how about we employ Noel? Isn't she a maid? Thank you. I appreciate it. I cannot believe that I have to clean up. What do I look like? I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Now I gotta dust? Stop this. I gotta go. Albedo's <laughs> got hands. Lock me in a cage. <laughs> Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Spill the is tea, Albedo. I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. I also said that while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <clears throat> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me. My mother and teacher. Her name is Rhyndaughter. What?! A researcher from Conria. Also known as Gold. <gasps> oh my god! We've been known, we've been known that he wasn't a human, but still. combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. Oh my I god. no memories of it. Okay, alright. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? <laughs> I... Okay, but, like, this is so important. This is, like, so important. And, like, I, I'm i once again, like, flabbergasted that this isn't a limited time event. So people who don't do this right now are, like, literally not going to know this unless it's brought up later on. But, like, wow, this is, there's so much information that is, like, so integral to, like, the main plot of the game that really stinks. But also, yay for us, because now we know and we've experienced it. Holy crap, that's amazing. Ah, uh, there's so much information. So, yeah, I mean, I already knew that he wasn't a human. Like, it's pretty obvious. But, like, him being, him being born after the destruction of Conria. That's, oh, my God. Ryan daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me. And oh. the other is the venomous dragon, Durin. His brother's Durin? Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? As sons of Rhine daughter. Shut up! Are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. 
speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. A strange and tenacious life force. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. Wait, is he insinuating that it's Durin that is that is impersonating him? And that he's not actually dead? Or no? I know, like, I'm out here, like, we're, okay, but Effigy and I are literally watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now for the first time. And, like, this is so funny that, like, okay, anyway, um, about that, there's something else I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean. When you and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because <laughs> it would only make you more suspicious. So Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. This is so wild. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. I'm not going anywhere. Paimon and I will help with the investigation. Yeah, we're dragons buying veterans by now. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> There's something really bad going on. We can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucros and Timaeus don't know your secret. We're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right. Thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues, then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. Hello? 